We're here at the big telecom event in Chicago. I'm here at the MRV booth and I'm talking with Scott Wilkinson. So Scott, a big announcement yesterday was the Opti Packet. But let's start with application awareness, which you're demoing here today. Tell me a little bit about it and how it works. Sure, so what we do is something called application awareness. It's not deep packet inspection. We do a sampling of the flows that go through our equipment all the way down to the CPE. And what that allows you to do is to see what traffic is actually being used for on your circuit. So for example, if you're a service provider and your customer calls and says, I'm having some latency problems, I'm not getting the bandwidth I need, uh, can you tell me what's going on with my circuit? One of your choices is to put in something like DPI, deep packet inspection, generally expensive, generally intrusive. What we do is a sampling, we can actually go in and tell you, Mr. Customer, it looks like most of your traffic is actually being used for entertainment purposes, perhaps you should talk to your employees, or perhaps you should restrict that traffic. Or it does look like legitimately all of your traffic is being used for web services and for SharePoint and for Office 365. You need to buy more bandwidth from us. We can do all of this on our CPE all the way up to our central office equipment. Every piece of equipment in our network can do that without again having to put in DPI, which is very expensive and, and add some latency. So who's the target for this? Who's going to be interested and why? We've actually gotten interest from a lot of more carriers than we originally thought, especially smaller carriers who don't have a lot of access, bandwidth in the access and don't have the resources to put a big DPI device in the core and look at everybody's traffic. This allows them to be much more responsive to their customers um, and to have a better idea of how their network's being used so that they can plan for the future better. So is this SDN based? How does it fit into MRV's SDN strategy? It's not truly SDN based, but it does fit in very well with our SDN vision because now you can take this information and use it within your SDN controller and within your SDN framework to change how your network is being used, which is exactly what SDN is supposed to do, to allow your network to dynamically change based on demands. This gives you a much better view of the demands. All right, great. And the big announcement yesterday was OptiPacket. Tell me a little bit about it, how it works. The OptiPacket is MRV's first packet optical system. It's a second generation packet optical system, so it's different from the early packet optical god boxes that came out. Uh, it's based almost entirely on layer two, layer three, IP, Ethernet, MPLS, as well as OTN and uh, Wavelink services. Okay, but how is this different from other packet optical devices? A couple of things. First of all, typically when you talk about packet optical systems, the, in, uh, the implication is it's a packet and optical system. So it has to, in, in order to really make sense, it has to have packet and optical in it. This is a packet or optical system, as well as a packet and optical system. It is a terrific packet system. If you just put packet cards in it, there are no wasted spaces, no wasted bandwidth. It's a great packet system. If you just want an optical system, it's a terrific just optical system. It also has a lot of features, features in it that are geared towards SDN and the future of networking. So it is truly a second generation or even third generation packet optical system. And how does the Opti Packet fit into MRV's SDN strategy? Sure, so there's a couple of things. For example, every one of our line cards has an, a computer on it. It has an x86 processor on it, which means that you can actually bypass the controller and talk directly to the data plane. The control plane and the data plane are completely separate. Uh, we don't have them running on the same cards. We have them running on separate cards to allow them to be separated. We have SDN ports, which allow you to get to those computers. Um, and we separate everything out from the beginning, understanding that this is going to be part of our SDN strategy. For example, we could put a, a server into the box itself and use it as the SDN controller to all of our equipment out in the network. It's a very, very strong SDN story that I could spend a lot more time talking about than we have today. How is this going to enable MRV to move into some new markets? Yeah, this is exactly what we're planning to do with this device and with this application awareness. Uh, we're talking more to service providers. We're now able to provide end-to-end -end solutions as opposed to what MRV has been known for in the past, which is targeted solutions and point-to-point -point optical solutions. Now we're talking to customers about much more complex networks, which is the kind of thing that service providers, larger MSOs, larger uh, content delivery networks are looking for. So yes, this is allowing MRV now to take the next step to be a larger provider to, to a larger variety of customers. Well, Scott, let's take a walk over and give me an example of how it works. So this is real live traffic from our office in Israel. You can actually see how people are using it, using our application awareness. And what you can tell by looking at this, this is obviously a little bit late in the day, um, most of the traffic is actually being used for entertainment. People are looking at uh, um, Instagram, you see Apple on here, you see a couple of magazines and some video sources. So we can tell by looking at this exactly what our corporate network is being used for. It's also good to note that they are actually working. We do see a few in here that are actually work things. But now if you were a service provider and a customer told you that most of their traffic is not getting through or they're having some delays, you could look at something like this and say, maybe this particular website, which is taking a huge amount of your bandwidth, needs to be restricted in some way. 
Well, thanks, Scott. Thanks for sharing the demo with us. Now, I also had a chance to catch up with Scott St. John, who's MRV's Senior Vice President of Global Sales, and I asked him about the significance of this announcement of OptiPacket and what that might mean for MRV going forward. Thanks, great question. It was an extremely significant announcement for MRV. So we have a long history of delivering optical transport and carrier ethernet solutions to our customers. And so what the OptiPacket does is it really brings those together and is our first packet optical launch into the market. And for the Metro Edge, as we see the trends in the market with service providers needing more and more bandwidth in the Metro Edge, we believe the OptiPacket is the right product at the right time to allow them to deliver services to their customers effectively over both converged packet and optical solutions. Scott, well it sounds like that's an exciting announcement for MRV and it's going to open up a lot of potential. Thanks for your time. Thank you.